those one of the ones that's married lives out of town about 30 minutes so when she comes into town she tends to frequently drop in um, generally plans to stay a few minutes but ends up staying longer which is absolutely fine we love having her and the, and the grandkids here we also have um, this is the first summer in quite a long time that my husband has not had to work he's a teacher and typically takes um, a second job during the summer to make um, just just to sort of help make ends meet a little better and um, this year because of my home business he's not had to do that which is absolutely great um, we love that part of it but what has happened is that because we are in the area um, we're very close to all of all of the kids and um, because my husband is home they sort of tend to feel that well dad's home they probably are on a summer schedule and so they just will drop in whenever and we, we like that. We like having the spont spontaneity. Um, it's one of the reasons we moved back here to British Columbia from Indiana so that we could be closer to the kids and, and have the grandkids around. So this this week um, I've had a day when a, a daughter-in-law stopped in with both of her children, stayed for a couple of hours. I've had um, the single daughter has been here um, almost every evening and spent all day today here. I've also had, um, we spent all day Friday um, at the rodeo with our oldest daughter and her family. And all of those things are absolutely great. We, we like doing those, but what I'm finding is that it makes it very difficult for me to stay on any kind of a schedule um, with my home business and with things that I need to do as far as just right general homemaking um, so that things can, can be on schedule so that I can work my own business. So I'm finding myself constantly when I'm with the kids enjoying it, but at the same time feeling guilty because this means I'm not getting done the things that I know I need to do to advance my business, to advance um, even personal growth, um, things where I need to listen to trainings or um, listen, read books or whatever I need to do um, for the personal growth side of it, setting my goals, writing out my, um, even writing out my goal cards and things like that, I'm finding it very difficult to do because of all the interruptions. So I'm constantly torn between, okay, I want to be this good mother who is there for her kids and I also want to be able to succeed. So I'm constantly back and forth between why am I almost resenting having my kids come over and yet feeling guilty because I feel that resentment but also feeling guilty because I'm not accomplishing what I want to accomplish. Um, again, probably goes back to a lot of the, the fears that I've talked about before, um, not being able to say clearly and um, without guilt that I need X amount of time and no, this isn't a good time for you to stop in. Um, or even allowing them to be here and me continue to work in my office because my office is separate from the rest of the house. So I could very easily continue to work, but then I know that that um, brings resentment in my husband because he's not, you know, 100% happy with me working um, my home business. So there's just all of those things that kind of keep bubbling up, and I, I'm not really sure where exactly I'm going with this other than just one of the things that I envision for my future is I want to develop the personal, um, the, the skills to, to be able to talk to people and say, okay, this is my time, this is the time that I need to do these things, and yes, I will be glad to help you, I'll be glad to have you come over, I'll be glad to have you do um, the things that you want me to do, but they have to be done on a different time schedule. So that's one of the things that I'm looking for. And also, um, an episode that happened this week is I was, someone sort of humiliated me in, in public. It was totally an event, nothing that needed to be blown up um, the way it was. And yet, rather than me just saying, well, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but this really wasn't, you know, my intention. And, and if it affects you that way, maybe you need to deal with it some other way. Um, I took it again upon myself to say, okay, this must have been my fault if I had done this, that, or the other thing, then that person would not have been so upset. So those are all things that, that I'm, I'm definitely needing to work with, and I, I guess I'm just um, trying to verbalize a little bit more as I'm seeing where
where I need um, growth in being able to accomplish what I want to accomplish um, within the context of my business and personal.